Hello there, this is Professor Peter Sickley with a portrait of PDQ Bach. Now usually you think of a portrait as something you hang up on the wall, but this isn't that kind of portrait. Well, I guess you could hang it up on the wall, but it would look pretty funny, a record hanging up there on the wall. And of course, in the offices of record companies, you sometimes do see records on the wall, you know, when they get a gold record or a platinum record. Of course, that's never happened to one of my records. Uh, professor, I think maybe we should stick to the script. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, certainly. Um, we can edit that out, can't we? Sure, you can just pick it up where you left off. We'll take it out later. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. For this portrait of PDQ Bach, I have selected three works, each one representing a different milieu in which the composer spent some time. The first milieu to be represented is the one in which he spent the least amount of time, namely the church. Until recently, it appeared that all of PDQ Bach's religious music had been destroyed. But in 1975, following a hunch all the way to Rome, Italy, I discovered the manuscript of the Misa Hilarius in the archives of the Vatican City along with other documents pertaining to PDQ's excommunication. We now hear the Misa Hilarius, Schickley number N20, for bargain countertenor, basso, blotto, chorus, and orchestra. <laughs> Yeah. 
I usually like to include something that isn't by PDQ Bach just as a matter of relief. The Eine Kleine Nichtmusik is one of my own compositions, but you may find that some of the themes sound very familiar. This is perfectly normal and nothing to be worried about. In fact, some of the best pieces in the world sound very familiar. This particular piece of familiarity has four movements, Allegro, Romanza, Menuetto, and Rondo. <laughs>
G.D.Q. Bach was not exactly a persona grata at the glittering courts of 18th century Europe, but he did spend a fair amount of time at the castle of Wein am Rhein's only member of the nobility, Prince Fred. The prince, an indiscriminate host who was known for his good beer and bad ear, was also one of the few people to commission works by P.D.Q. during the composer's lifetime, after which it was too late. Our next piece, the Echo Sonata for two unfriendly groups of instruments, was first performed at Prince Fred's Castle on the night of April 30th, 1807. A few years back, I played the Echo Sonata on my radio program, Report from Hoople, but I ran into a little difficulty with the tape, and after I got that fixed, the piece hadn't gone very far before the playback machine blew up. And over the years, several listeners have asked if it wouldn't be possible to hear the work in its entirety. Since this is a phonograph record and not a live radio broadcast, and we have the ability, the ability, the, oh shoot. That's okay, just uh, backtrack a couple of words and continue. We'll fix it up later. Okay. And we have the ability, through editing, to make sure that nothing is wrong with the final product. I am more than happy to comply with this request. You asked for it. You're going to get it. Of course, the milieu in which P.D.Q. Bach spent most of his time was neither the austere milieu of the church nor the pompous milieu of the court, but the convivial milieu of the taverns and alehouses that so liberally littered the landscape of Weinam Rhein. It was undoubtedly for drinking companions such as Thomas Collins, Porcelina Speck, and Jonathan Boozy Hawks that P.D.Q. wrote A Consort of Choral Christmas Carols, Shickley number 359. With these three seasonal songs, Throw the Yule Log On, Uncle John, O Little Town of Hackensack, and Good King Kong Looked Out, we bring to a close this portrait of a composer who has been called a crack in the dam of culture. Imagine, if you will, a barely sentient P.D.Q. Bach surrounded by his coarse but congenial friends, all of them quaffing seemingly bottomless tankards of holiday grog as they sing... Throw the log on, Uncle John! Throw the log on, Uncle John! Throw the log on, Uncle John! Throw the log on, Uncle John!